This is the 2024 Samsung Odyssey OLED G8. It's a 32 inch premium gaming monitor with monster specs, including 4K resolution, 240 Hertz refresh rate, 0.03 millisecond response time, Samsung's newest quantum dot OLED tech, advanced anti-burn-in technology, and the same AI processing engine found in the company's flagship 8K TVs. Really quick, here's a look at the cables and accessories that come with it. This is the power brick. I was actually expecting it to be a bit bigger. This is the power cable that's gonna get it plugged into your wall outlet. Uh, this one here is a USB 3.0 cable. This one's HDMI. And the last one here is DisplayPort. These aren't the most premium feeling cables, but it's definitely nice to have everything you need to get up and running right out of the box. And they also throw in this nice little remote controller, because as you're gonna see in the video, this is just as much a smart TV as it is a computer monitor. So the OLED G8 does not look like your typical gaming monitor. There's none of those super gamery spaceship looking design elements. It does have an RGB light ring around the back where the stand attaches, but other than that, it's just a sleek and modern design with super thin bezels and a silver metallic finish. Make no mistake about it, the OLED G8's a very premium and elegant looking monitor. The build quality stands out just as much as the looks with a metal frame and hefty weight around eight and a half kilograms or about 18 pounds. The stand doesn't have any cable routing channels, but it does include a little band along the bottom to help tidy things up a bit. And it has tilt, swivel, pivot, and height adjustment. Plus the backside of the panel has a standard 100 millimeter vase amount. So if you don't want to use the stand, you can throw this thing pretty easily onto an aftermarket arm that can support 32 inch displays. Connectors are all in a strip and that strip's somewhat obstructed by the stand, unfortunately. There's a single display port 1.4, two HDMI 2.1 ports, two USB type A ports, and one type B. The menus are all controlled with a small joystick on the back next to the input strip. The operating system is Samsung's Tizen, or Tizen, however you say that, and it's the same operating system that you'll find on their smart TVs. One of the cool features in here is the game bar menu. You can bring that up and see a list of settings you're using, access gaming functions like crosshairs, and see information about the graphics input. The OS on here seems to run smoothly and without any noticeable lag. Thank God, because laggy operating systems on displays drive me absolutely crazy. The 32 inch screen comes in a standard 16 to nine aspect ratio with 4K resolution and no curvature. That's something that some people are gonna love and others might absolutely hate. It really comes down to preference. As a content creator, I can tell you that flat displays have some advantages because you can see perfectly straight lines in your compositions without any distortion that you tend to get with ultra wides. For gaming, there's just something special about ultra wide displays that just pulls you into the gaming environment. But I will say 32 inches in the 16 to nine aspect ratio feels huge. It's got all that extra height and just really feels like a big display sitting in front of you. And you can still run your games in the ultra wide aspect if you want to, you're just gonna have black bars on the top and bottom. Samsung went with a matte finish on this screen as opposed to the glossy type that you see on most monitors. I find it works well to reduce reflections and keep the ceiling lights from producing bright hotspots that take away from the detail on the screen. The OLED g 8 is using Samsung's latest quantum dot OLED panel technology, and it basically tops the charts in terms of features and specs. It runs at 4K resolution, it's got 178 degree viewing angles, a 1 million to 1 contrast ratio, 0.03 millisecond response time, 240 hertz refresh rate, it supports HDR10 and HDR10 plus gaming, and covers 99% of the DCI-P3 wide color gamut. This panel's capable of bringing out the subtle detail in highlights and dark shadowy areas at the same time. That's the definition of high dynamic range, and that's something that traditional LCD panels tend to struggle with. And it's a game changer for immersive gameplay. If you've never experienced OLED display technology before, then you really don't know what you're missing. And if you care at all about your wallet, you might actually want to keep it that way. There's just no comparison. It's a night and day difference and completely draws you into the game with jaw-dropping imagery. There's no doubt that part of the performance here is coming from the NQ8 Gen 3 AI processor that Samsung borrowed from their top of the line flagship 8K TVs and threw into this gaming monitor. That processing engine really brings out everything that this OLED panel has to offer. When viewing HDR content, that massive contrast ratio makes for some seriously impressive images. Highlights can appear extremely bright when displayed next to the deep inky blacks that this panel can deliver. The term HDR has been really pushed with monitors for years now, even though a lot of screens didn't have the hardware to deliver a proper HDR experience as far as I'm concerned. The OLED G8, it's HDR done right. It delivers on what an HDR experience is supposed to be with gorgeous color and fine details across the entire exposure range from the brightest highlights to the darkest shadows. With all that said, it is lacking one feature that I like to see on premium HDR monitors and that's Dolby Vision support. I guess Samsung just didn't think we needed to have that on the OLED G8. It is what it is. 
4K resolution on a 32 inch display, I believe is the sweet spot in terms of screen size and resolution, offering up tons of space to work and play, but with plenty of sharpness and detail. And that means text appears smooth and easy to read. And if you've used a lower resolution screen before, then you know how annoying jagged and unclear text can be. That high pixel density makes a big difference in gaming too. I can't see any of that screen door effect at all, and game environments look so crisp and detailed, again, adding to the immersion and overall experience. Now keep in mind, you're gonna need a serious graphics card to drive this panel at its native 4K resolution, especially if you want your frame rate to keep pace with the high 240Hz refresh rate. The PC I'm testing this on is running an RTX 3090, and that's not enough to deliver 240 FPS at 4K in most cases. Nvidia, I need you to release the RTX 5090 as soon as possible. I was able to achieve much higher frame rates by dropping the resolution down to 2560 by 1440, which, by the way, still makes a gorgeous looking image. High frame rates with a 240Hz refresh rate and the insane 0.03 milliseconds G to G response time creates a godly combination of motion clarity, responsiveness, and smoothness. If you can't get to the top of the leaderboards with a setup like this, then I got news for you. It's not your hardware holding you back. The OLED G8 features some pretty cool and unique anti-burn-in technology. It uses a pulsating heat pipe system to evaporate and condense coolant to reduce high temperatures, which is one of the main causes of screen burn-in on OLED displays. It also uses algorithms to predict surface temperatures and then automatically adjust brightness to reduce heat and keep it to a minimum. Plus, it can detect taskbars and logos and then dim those areas as well. Now, I said at the beginning of this video that this monitor is also a smart TV. Samsung equipped the OLED G8 with all the usual streaming apps you'd expect to see on your TV. And at 32 inches, it's reasonably sized to be usable as a TV when you need it. I mentioned the NQ8 processor a few times already, but this is where it really comes in, because after all, it was designed for use in Samsung's TVs. It can take lower resolution content and upscale it in real time, producing an incredibly sharp 4K looking image. Some lower or even mid-range TVs struggle to produce a good looking upscaled image, but this processing engine in here is next level good. Everything I've been watching looks awesome on the OLED G8, whether it's a native 4K signal or being upscaled from a standard HD source. There's very little not to like about the OLED G8. It delivers class-leading performance as a gaming monitor, and it's also a pretty incredible smart TV at the same time. That versatility makes it a great all-around product and adds a lot of value if you're someone that plans to take advantage of everything that it can offer. It's a premium product with a premium price to match. Make no mistake about it, the OLED G8 is not cheap by any means. But if you want a premium OLED gaming experience and just premium viewing experience in general, then the OLED G8, it's hard to pass up. Full specs and details along with some purchasing links are down in the description of this video for you. Make sure you check that stuff out if you're interested and drop us a comment down below and tell us what you think about this Samsung Odyssey OLED G8 gaming monitor. Get subscribed on your way out and we'll see you soon.